Dried herbs can be substituted for fresh herbs in a recipe by using how much dried herbs compared to fresh? About one-third as much dried herbs as fresh. In general, fresh herbs should be added to the cooked dish at what stage of cooking? That would be near the end, so you can still taste them. Fresh breadcrumbs are made from fresh bread that's slightly dried out, approximately two to four days old. Dried breadcrumbs are made from bread that has been lightly toasted in a warm oven. When applying breading, the egg wash, crumbs, and flour go in what order? Flour, then egg wash, and then crumbs. For breading meats, poultry, fish, shellfish, or vegetables, a three-step process is typically used, giving foods a relatively thick, crisp coating. Pat the food dry and dredge it in seasoned flour. The flour adds seasoning to the food, helps seal it, and allows the egg wash to adhere. Dip the floured food in egg wash. The egg wash should contain whole egg whisked together with approximately one tablespoon of milk or water per egg. The egg wash will cause the crumbs to completely coat the item and form a tight seal when food is cooked. Coat the food with breadcrumbs. Shake off excess crumbs. Do not stack items or the breading will get soggy and the foods will stick together. The items are now ready for frying. I got my free range chicken education on a Tyson plant tour. Free range chicken applies to birds that are allowed to roam freely in an enclosed space. So if they open the door to the outside for five minutes, that's okay, as long as the door is there. The chickens could go out if they wanted to, but nobody told them they could go out, so they're kind of dumb animals, and they don't go out. They're often raised without antibiotics, fed a vegetarian diet with no animal fat or byproducts, uh, processes without the use of um, preservatives, and raised under more humane growing uh, methods. They're more expensive than chickens that are not called free range, so I figure free equals free to raise the price. The classes or types of poultry are broiler, fryer. Those are young with uh, soft, smooth textured skin, relatively lean, flexible breastbone, and those would be more tender. Game hen is young or immature or child of a Cornish chicken or of a Cornish chicken and a white rock chicken. They're very flavorful. Roaster is young with tender meat and smooth textured skin. The breastbone is less flexible than a broiler's. The capon is a surgically castrated male. has tender meat with soft, smooth textured skin bread uh, well flavored meats contains a high proportion of light to dark meat and is relatively high uh, has a relatively high fat content hen or stewing chicken is a mature female it's flavorful but less tender meat non-flexible breastbone and the best way to prepare a hen or stewing chicken is to uh, stew them which is why they <laughs> call it a stewing chicken. Almost every kind of poultry is suitable for roasting. The younger birds produce a more tender finished product. Different kinds of poultry require different roasting temperatures and procedures. But no matter what the size, the poultry gets cooked to what temperature? 165. Although the mild flavor of most poultry is enhanced by a wide variety of herbs and spices, roasted poultry is often only lightly seasoned with salt and pepper.
When cooking chicken breasts, incorporate roasted red potatoes and julienne carrots to achieve a variety of texture, shape, and colors. When checking for doneness, never rely on timing alone. What else would you use? You would use temperature. On the uh, texture, shape, and colors, make sure when you um, use your side dishes that you don't have uh, corn, chicken, and mashed potatoes. Uh, all the same color. Trussing is the technique of tying a whole bird into a neat shape to protect the delicate white breast meat during cooking. After roasting, allow the bird to stand for 20 minutes so the juices can redistribute themselves. Holding the bird firmly with a carving fork, pry a leg outward and locate the joint. Remove the leg and thigh in one piece by cutting through the joint with the tip of the knife. Repeat the procedure on the other side. Once both legs have been removed, slice the meat from the thigh by holding the leg firmly with one hand and slicing parallel to the bone. Separate the thigh from the leg bone by cutting through the joint. Slice the meat from the leg by cutting parallel to the bone. To carve the breast meat, cut along the backbone, following the natural curvature of the bones, separating the breast meat from the ribs. Remove the entire half breast and slice it on a cutting board. Cut at an angle to produce larger slices. Saltwater fish include mahi-mahi, grouper, cod, and haddock. And freshwater fish include tilapia, catfish, bass, and pike. Keep in mind, as this is a busy slide, you can pause the uh, show at any time so you can look at it and make better notes. The fishing, uh, fish cooking methods include broiling, grilling, baking, sauteing, and pan frying, deep frying, steaming, poaching, and simmering.
Very lean fish, such as flounder and sole, can be prepared by either poaching, steaming, or frying. Small whole fish, such as trout, are best cooked by pan frying or baking. Squid, also known by their Italian name of calamari. They're increasingly popular in, in the United States. You see them on uh, pretty much every uh, appetizer menu. They're similar to octopuses, but they're much smaller. They harvested along both American coasts and elsewhere around the world. Range in size from an average of 8 to 10 per pound to the giant South American squid, which is sold as tenderized steaks. Butter filing uh, shrimp improves the appearance and it increases the surface area so that they cook evenly. Also speeds cooking, makes the shrimp appear larger, gives more surface area for breading. The first step in butterflying shrimp is to peel the shrimp. Second step is to make a deep cut that nearly slices the shrimp into two bilateral halves. And then you pull out the vein while rinsing the shrimp under cold water. Catfish are scaleless freshwater fish common in northern lakes and rivers and now aqua farmed extensively. Flesh is pure white with a moderate fat content. They have a mild sweet flavor and a firm texture. And they may be prepared by any cooking method but best prepared by deep frying. Fish and shellfish are commonly served with light butter sauces such as a beer blanc. That looks good, doesn't it? Makes me hungry. Broiled or grilled shellfish meat should be moist and tender with only slight coloration from the grill or the broiler. We used to all call these uh, dolphin or dolphin fish, but I think people thought they were eating flipper. So uh, they started marketing them with the Hawaiian name, which is Mahi Mahi. Then we don't eat it and we don't worry about flipper. They're also known by their Spanish name Dorado. It can be broiled, grilled, or baked. Sauce or marinade is recommended since the meat may dry during cooking. Crustaceans are also known as shellfish. They have a hard outer skeleton or shell and jointed appendages and breathe through their gills. Crustaceans include lobsters, crabs, and shrimp. Their flesh is primarily composed of water, protein, fat, and minerals. Shellfish have an external shell and no internal bone structure. That's what makes them a shellfish.